My name is George Janoski, and uh, I am the uh, science teacher here at Elizabeth Learning Center. The Habitat Gardens are an outgrowth of projects that I have been doing with my students now since 2005. So uh, this first garden here is our Chaparral Habitat Garden. It's the kind of habitat that you're likely to kind of come across. And the fact that they can't come across it here in Cudahy um, was the initial reason why I chose Chaparral as our first habitat garden. So our uh, second habitat garden was the Vernal Pools Habitat Garden. Vernal pools are extraordinarily rare and they're a self-contained system. I think that's one of the reasons why I love doing this garden with my students is that each vernal pool is kind of a universe onto itself. Such beautiful, intricate little relationships are going on in a puddle of water. Um, and I really want my students to be able to uh, slow down and be able to appreciate what's going on in those kind of systems. So our third uh, habitat garden that we established here was a desert habitat garden. We chose this particular spot because it gets full sun. It's really, really hot most of the year and it really gives my students a chance to compare and contrast something as, ex as extreme as a desert ecosystem with something like a vernal pole. And I like to tell the people that will listen when they stop by and ask me questions that my students and I are rewilding the urban landscape, trying to bring a little bit of what we lost, bring it back here into the city so that people can be touched by nature. The Habitat Gardens here at the Rain Center, they're really an experience for someone to, on a small scale, really feel like they're in an ecosystem, like they're in the situation of an actual wild space.